Here is how much it costs to start your very own vending machine business. All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to this channel. My name is Dominic Barbado. And in this video, I wanna go over specifics and kind of break each of those down so you understand or have a better perspective on what the vending machine is for you specifically, for the amount of money you wanna invest and for the amount of passive income you wanna have. Here we go, let's hop right into this. So the prices vary. I think this is the first thing I need to put out there. And obviously I wanna make this video exciting. I wanna make this video kind of jump at you so that you have some understanding of what's going on but I'm gonna break down each point kind of in detail so price matters and there are kind of three avenues you can go you could start the cheapest way which are honor boxes or you could start the middle way which is basically a gumball machine toy racks or you could start the most expensive way which are crane machines arcade games and soda and snack machines so we're gonna start with the crane soda and snack machines as I know many people love starting with those type of machines just because they see the cash they see all the money that they're kind of pulling on a day-to-day -day basis they think it's a lot if you want to start a soda and snack vending machine business and you find a location that has 50 employees and they ask you for a combination vending machine. A combination vending machine is a vending machine that essentially has snacks and has drinks in it. You need to know that a combination machine, new or used, and they're harder to get used, I would say, but starting on the used end, you'll find one maybe in the $3,500 range. And then on the brand new range, you'll find it all the way up to about $7,500. So there's a big gap there on how much it might cost you to start, but let's go for the middle point. Let's say it costs you $5,000 to set up that combination vending vending machine, deliver direct. You do a white glove delivery, maybe you go on vending.com, get your combination vending machine shipped direct to the location that you personally closed. Congratulations on your first account. Now you have it shipped there. You pay $4,000. They offer financing. So potentially you're at maybe that $60, $70 a month thing that they have. You can go on their website, learn about that more, but we're going to focus on the big number. You're in for five grand. You have it placed on the location. Now you need your LLC and you possibly need a license registered with your county. And you can look this up. I'll go over this in a minute that basically says, Hey, I have a vending machine here. I'm going to pay you $50 a year. So based on your county, whatever your county is, plus vending machine license, you're going to want to look that up yourself and see kind of what the costs are there and go from there. But add that into your 5,000. So let's say we're at 5,050. Then we add in the snacks and the drinks. That's going to be at least another $250. You're at 5,300. And when all said and done, if you're not paying a commission, that vending machine is there. 5,300 all in every single month after that. If it's a good location with 50 employees, you're probably making between 300, 400, and $600. So between $300 and $600, you'll be grossing every single month. So gross, not net, you'll be making three to six net, possibly, you know, 150 to 350, depending on your margins. And then that goes into my second point here. It's not just about how much the vending machine costs. It's also about how much you make. And that goes into our margin perspective. So from a margin perspective, now we're going to bring in honor boxes and bulk vending and crane machines. Your highest margin vending machine business that you can get into is going to be crane machines, in my opinion, or honor boxes, but honor boxes margin can vary depending because you have people on the honor system but nonetheless they still work and they do very very well so let's start with a crane machine you buy a crane you buy a mini crane mini cranes go for about 1500 bucks you can get some at the thousand price but between a thousand and fifteen hundred so we'll, we'll do the thousand price so for a thousand dollars plus hundred dollars worth of product eleven hundred bucks you could ship it to the location if you want to or put it in the back of your car these things are small light easy to roll around for eleven hundred bucks you're all in on a crane account let's say you get a nice restaurant that's open seven days a week they have 10 employees and they have people going in all the time. Let's say it's a pizza spot. You can make probably between two to $400 a month with that crane. So you need to think about this from a perspective of margin, your mini crane, you set your margin, you set your price. You're not vending out a snack or a drink every single time. It is based on chance or skill, depending on what state you're in. You know, there's a skill play and a chance play. Some states only allow you to do skills. So you have to have a winner every time, or it has to be a skill-based game. That's kind of something you have to take up with the gaming authority and skill-based games usually don't seem to be too skilled. Nonetheless, they even say some casinos are skill based, which I see that not being possible. But from a price perspective, cranes compared to snack machines compared to honor boxes, cranes are kind of that juicy middle where you could get the most bang for your buck. But on a location basis, it's going to vary depending on the month. Some months you're going to do exceptionally well, some months you'll do slower, some months you might have consistency. But I do believe crane machines, claw machines, they're not as consistent as a soda and snack machine. Soda and snack machines, you have those consistent daily customers that you know, okay, I'm going to make this amount of money after three, four months of having a machine on a location, you should know every single day you're going to make between this and this amount of money. If you don't, there's something wrong with your machine or you didn't stock it. As for cranes, they don't require that much maintenance. They don't require that much stocking. And they're a lot more passive than a lot of other machines out there. Like the combination vending machine, you're going to have to fill that at least once a week, even on the slowest accounts, there's going to be a slot on a vending machine. If they want your machine, there's going to be a slot on that vending machine that's wiped every single week. It's just, that's the nature of this game. If it's not, it's a terrible location and you shouldn't have went there 
there to begin with. There's another video on this channel to kind of learn what are the best locations for vending machines. That goes more into kind of soda and snack, but it does pertain to cranes and honor boxes as well. And touching just briefly on honor boxes, because we do sell honor boxes and we've sold over 15,000 nationwide and to people in Canada, honor boxes margins are damn near 350%. Lollipop costs 13 cents. You used to tell it for 50 cents. So you're making a three X almost margin on those sales. If you put them in good places right next to a cash register where people will look over it, where the employees will look over the box, you won't have that as much theft as if it's all the way on the other side of a restaurant or wherever it is. This is kind of just what I've noticed. And obviously your amount you'll make per month is less per box. But if you don't have as much, if you only have a hundred dollars and you start with six boxes, 10 boxes, whatever it is, you can make multiple hundreds off one box and invest that into a crane or invest it into a vending machine and kind of have the honor boxes pay your monthly financing from vending.com or wherever you get your vending financing, those pay that monthly vending financing. And I had done this and essentially now you have a whole vending business that's kind of self-sustaining itself. And this is what business is all about, right? Is self-sustaining the business so that it grows, so that you keep investing, so that you keep making more money, more cash flow. Bigger business, of course, means bigger problems, but that's the good thing about business. The bigger your business is, the bigger you get, better problems you have because now you have bigger problems, bigger cash flow, and that's kind of it. I wanted to let you guys know just a little bit about the vending machine business. We're about to wrap it up here. And I just want you to leave this video with one key point here. It's very important that you budget and it's very important that you don't just take these numbers and say, okay, this is what it's going to cost. It can cost significantly less or it can cost significantly more. There is maintenance, there's insurance costs, there's things that break just because you have to be very aware in business about all of these things that kind of can go on. But just to jump out of the gate and to start your vending business, I hope this video helps you a lot. And we have more videos similar to this for beginners in the industry. So please be tuning back on a weekly basis, more videos to come and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.